boy unable to sell newspapers suddenly disappears from the streets of London. A traveler intrigued by the painting promises to go on a journey to find him. After years of searching, he turns old and dies. Hi everyone, today we will be creating a 3D magnets media style edit. So let's begin. First, as you can see, these assets will be there in the description so make sure you download it to follow along all these assets are ai generated okay meaning all the images and you can get them through websites like freepic uh, and varto you can also use chat gpt for generating you know these assets first i'll bring this okay image of this abandoned factory area and then i'll bring the image of this boy bring this to the newspaper and put it behind this okay now what we want to do is make this you know image come out of the photograph so first we have to simply select all these three okay hit alt plus g to make them a compound clip select this hit on the transform keyframe go ahead again hit on the transform keyframe now i'll head on to our first keyframe and drag it like this okay hit or plus k and select cubic out okay so you get this animation and from here what i have to do is basically cut it okay bring this okay our next image the painting one and i'll head on to mask add mask and select this rectangle now i'll mask out this painting okay First, I'll select this to reverse the mask. Okay. I'll select this compound clip, make it smaller to fit it inside. And then, I'll bring this traveler PNG and put it over here like this. Select all of this and cut it from here. Okay. And now, I'll select all these three, hit or plus G to make it a compound clip. Now I'll put it, put this layer above this layer and then bring down the opacity. I'll scale this up to match the size of the boy. I'll head on inside the compound clip and delete this person watching, okay, or the traveler image. And now simply click on the transform keyframe and drag this go ahead and scale this down now you might be wondering that this image is looking blurred okay but don't worry when you export it everything will become hd or the original resolution okay so this will be our first and then i'll bring this over here to zoom out now i'll bring this png okay make this bigger something like this transform keyframe go ahead again transform keyframe now go to the start and bring this down hit alt plus k and click on cubic out okay so it will look something like this and finally i'll go ahead okay and now i have to simply cut this over here Cut this to right click undo compound clip and then bring these over here. Okay. So after this, from here, I'll select these two and then this one. Now select all of these. Okay. This bigger like this. Drag this. Make this bigger too. Select these, hit Alt plus G. Okay. Click on the transform keyframe. Go ahead. Drag this towards the left. Hit Alt plus K. Then cubic out. Drag this more. For a smoother animation. And then. I'll bring this old man, flip this, okay, bring this room, okay, 
now i'll put this over here make this bigger bring this room put it behind like this and then select these two and hit alt plus g to make this a compound clip head over here put this over here outside okay of the frame click on the transform keyframe go just above this okay keyframe and click another keyframe on the new compound clip and drag this inside hit all plus k and click on the cubic out so you get this so this is how the 3d camera animation will take place in CapCut. but now the main thing is adding effects so i have given you these fire embers okay which you can put over here so just simply select screen and make this bigger like this and also there are several effects which you can use so let me bring them in okay as you can see vignette hazy two color camera shake these are just very few of them okay so you can head on to effects and see everything is here so if you want you can add more effects and make this you know more appealing and more realistic but remember to not use flashy effects only those effects which are cinematic okay so you'll get something like this okay so this is how you will be able to you know do your animation of magnets media style I have also provided the voice okay which you can use to accompany your edit so hope you learned something new from this video see you in the next